What's going on, people? It's your boy, the man, and listen, today I'm hitting you guys with another Naruto Storm 4 discussion. Now, the, this discussion will basically uh, cover uh, more of my suggestions that I want implemented into the Naruto Storm 4 game due to some new info that has been revealed by a new weekly Shonen Jump magazine. Okay, so let's get into this. So recently, the contents of the Naruto epilogue novels have been unveiled in a weekly Shonen Jump magazine, and we've gotten some little sneak previews of what the actual novels will entail. We got the names, we got the dates they will come out. So these novels will be coming out monthly uh, starting February. So you got a full line of months to look forward to to get some more Naruto epilogue content. So these novels will be written by Akira, uh, Akira who is a... Uh, the writer of Blood Prison of Naruto movie, and we have a, some exclusive arts from Kishimoto himself. So I'm gonna go over the names of these novels, and I'm gonna go over the little preview that was included with them. There's also a picture that goes with each novel that in the uh, scan, but I'm gonna describe to you what they look like due to uh, certain reasons of not showing the actual scan. All right. So the first Naruto, uh, I would say the first Naruto, the first novel Naruto. Kakashi Hidden Legend, Lightning of the Frozen Sky. Okay, so this will ship to Japan on February 4th. The story revolves around Kakashi Hatsuke, who is melancholy despite his new position as the Six Hokage. In addition, an incident has occurred in the new peaceful orderly ninja world. Okay, so Kakashi is a Six Hokage. He's still sad for some reason. I don't really see why he's sad. I mean, Obito's out of his life. I mean, maybe he feels that uh, everyone has basically left his life now that Obito's dead, but he didn't really know Obito was alive till recently. So I don't see why he is sad anymore. He's a Hokage. He has friends. He has people who would be around. Why are you sad? But it also says that an incident has occurred in the peaceful ninja world. As we all know from chapter 700, the ninja world really doesn't have that much stuff going on around it like it used to. I mean, even Tenten didn't get any sales in the ninja tool shop because it was so peaceful. So, uh, according to this title, Lightning of the Frozen Sky, maybe we'll go back to the uh, land of the snow considering that it's not really around the five great nations. Maybe this is why there's violence occurring because it's really like far out and not really near them so definitely looking forward to that kakashi uh lightning of the frozen sky novel and i'll be on the lookout for it since it's the first novel it's the first one we're gonna see okay so the next one is titled uh shikamaru hidden legend so Shikamaru Hidden Legend is hinted to feature a battle between Shikamaru and the strongest Genjutsu user ever quoted. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that Shikamaru novel, uh, the strongest Genjutsu user, Genjutsu user ever. It kind of reminds me of the Tayuya fight that he had because she used Genjutsu quite a lot and he kind of surpassed her with Tamari's help. But I definitely want to see some strategic battles with that Genjutsu Shikamaru. So, okay, so the next novel that's coming out, Akatsuki Hidden Legend. Alright, so it's listed to reveal the truth of the Akatsuki quoted. And the image features Daydare, Kisami Kakazu, and Hidan. Uh, Hidan. Okay, so the secret of the Akatsuki. What, I mean, what more else is there to learn about the Akatsuki from... That's how I feel because we got the Akatsuki origins in Naruto Revolution. We got all the backstory from the manga. I mean, what else is there to discover about the Akatsuki? Maybe there's something else. Like, uh, I really want them to, if they do something at all, I really want them to go over, uh, actually, like, Kakazu's origins, Daydare's origins, like, how they got their secret Kenjutsu, like, how Kakazu got his Earth style, like, the threads, and how Daydare got the Kenjutsu for the the mouths on his hands so definitely looking forward to the Katsuki uh, hiding so okay next is Gara secret legend and it's hinted to be a story of love something that the Kaze Kage does not know very well okay so we all know Gara has love uh, scarred onto his head uh, because of he put it there with his sand I mean Gara really doesn't have a love life I mean he really doesn't have anybody that's like fond of him i mean not fond of him but we really never see gara with any type of female character so maybe that will kind of invoke uh gara's love story and stuff like that i really don't 
don't be mad at me, but I really don't care about the Gar one, because it's just like, when stuff gets in the Gar, it's always about how he got left as a child, and I'm just like, whatever, but, okay, so the next, uh, Hidden Legend story is, uh, the Sakura one, okay, so the Sakura, uh, Hidden Legend hints that it will, it will have the results of Sakura's feelings will be revealed, finally, so, uh, I mean, maybe this is uh, her feelings about Sasuke, how they developed into an actual husband and wife relationship. I don't even know if they're husband and wife, but how that relationship blossomed for them to have a child. I mean, I really want to see that because I, would, I'm, I wouldn't be messing with Sakura if I was Sasuke because she's just annoying. I mean, he's Genjutsu stabbed her like a couple chapters before he was sitting there saying he was sorry. So, whatever. Sakura is Sakura. Okay, so the last one that I anticipating is... Kona Konaha Hidden Legend. Okay, so this will look at the other ninjas of Konaha and what happened after the quote original manga. So uh, this the image entails Shino, Rock Lee, and Kiba. And it's basically just a summarization of all the uh Leaf 11, I think, Konoha 11, yeah, so it will basically tell what happens to the rest of Konoha 11 and other ninjas who were in the village after the manga ended, I definitely want to see that because maybe their children will be involved and other stuff like that, but yeah, so okay, so those are all the Hidden Legend novels, Kakashi, Hidden Legend, February, Shikamaru, March, Akatsuki, April, Gara, June, uh, Sakura July and Konoha August so we have a full lineup of epilogue mangas scheduled to be coming out now how this ties into storm 4 you say why wouldn't they just put these hidden legend novels into the storm 4 as playable arcs like the revolution did I know I did this before but it really makes sense now that they are scheduled to release like kind of really soon and we really haven't gotten an official release date for Naruto Storm 4 so if these novels come out before the Naruto Storm 4 releases I mean Kishi can just go ahead and give hint at the uh, hint the game developers on what's gonna go on so they can implement it into the game and we really won't have to worry about an English uh, version coming over to be printed for us because it's in the game i mean generally a lot of people put stories like this into the game as seen with like example dragon ball raging blast 2 which had like the eradication of the saiyans like the plan of whatever that uh the little manga piece was called but yeah that got put into the game so there's a high high chance that this might get put into the game and i really want to see this get put in because even like for the Shikamaru case, it's a fight. So, I mean, fights are cool in the manga, but animated and you get to play it, that would be awesome. So, I see these as great opportunities to be playable arcs in the Naruto Storm 4 game. Okay, so tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, which uh, Hidden Legend epilogue novel are you most anticipating? Do you want to see them be transformed into gameplay? Because Season 2 has really been going above and beyond with this PS4 uh title and i really just want to see what is to come of these epilogue novels can't wait uh like the video if you enjoyed it comment down below as i said before subscribe if you haven't i'm out of here guys peace